Friday morning. It's not even quarter to ten. Whew, have I had my ears chewed off this morning? Jamie's just been round. Man went deep with me on conversations, let's just say that. But he had a good old chat with Jamie. He found it funny what I told him about the poker last night. Anyway, I wonder what today's going to bring. Good things, I hope. Back to filming with me. Phone. Damn shame. Got a month's worth of... Um, on the new camera. Got about a month's worth of editing to do. Nightmare. Very boring watching, so don't bother watching the next video or whenever I get round to learn editing on the bloody laptop. Big day today, I'm going to go over and see um, Sir Richard, the previous owner of Bentley. So, yeah, look forward to it. I've been meaning to go over to see Richard for the last 18 months, but I think he works for Rolls Royce or someone now. Yeah, Rolls Royce. So, it's just a matter of when my time is, you know, and when his time is. He phoned me up last night and went, you sold Bentley or what? I went, no, of course I ain't. I told you I'd never sell her. He goes, come over there tomorrow or as soon as you can and uh, pick up these bits that are getting in his way in the shed. So that's what I have to do. Well, first I'm going to go and get a big and bakey and some milk. I'm a bit dehydrated and I've had one cup of green tea. Green tea wouldn't even keep a camel on the go, do you know what I mean? I know it's all down with the vegans and all that, but that's another urban myth. It's another con. It's another con, that green tea bollocks. Anyway, time to go. Get a tuck up, then off to see Rich. That's me just arrived in uh, uh, where old Daventry. And uh, that was where I bought Bentley. That was the parking space just there. Just come over to see Richard now, get a few spare bits. There he's just gone in the gate there. What a lovely man Rich is, man. He just gave me this reversing sensor as well. I could put it on the car or put it on uh, on Bentley, but it's going to go on Bentley because that's Bentley's previous owner. Well, I ended up in Stoke Brewing, but that's about 15, 20 miles away. I always think I know better than sat -Navs. It seems I don't. Saturday night and I'm out getting parts for Bentley. Nice one, Rich, mate. There's a headlight there. There's a massive old side mirror there for Bentley. Behind that, you can't see it. There's a light. There's a reversing sensor. There's some Schwalets for tomorrow. And uh, two front headline, headlight surrounds, I think that is. That's something for underneath that we don't know if Rich said it's something to do with protecting something. And there's a mud flap there, upside down. Happy days. And there's me milk and water ready for the cuppa. You know what time it is. It's Steve the clock, 20 past 11. Domino's it is. Pizza pool turned up. Hey, Hi, how you folks. doing, bro? Hi, folks. How are you doing? Are you good? It's time to eat some pizza and let the world go rolling past you. So when everybody leaves, it's just Elon sitting at home, brushing his teeth. It's just a bunch of ideas bouncing around your head. When did you realize that that's not the case with most people? I think when I was, I don't know, five or six or something. I thought I was insane. It was just strange because it was clear that other people did not, would, their mind wasn't exploding with ideas. It was like, hmm, I'm strange. I don't think, I don't think you'd necessarily want to be me. People would like it that much. It's very hard to turn it off. It's like a never ending explosion, all the time. Now is the time to overrule this administration's pledge to mediocrity. Listen, Tesla's a sell, sell, sell. You don't want to own this stock. You shouldn't even rent the darn thing. Why? 
Because beyond the hype, there's just not much going on here. Tesla still has yet to turn a profit. That'd be a $1.5 billion company with no profit. Its most recent quarter it actually lost more money than it did the year before, $1.5 billion, losing more money than the year before. This is a company with limited visibility. You put $90 billion, like 50 years worth of breaks into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I've, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. Private enterprise will not ever lead a space frontier. Not because I don't want them to, but my read of history, history tells me they can't. It's not possible. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil uh, Armstrong, yeah. Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. What are you trying to prove to them? What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in space flight and, and, and help make space flight accessible to, to almost anyone. One of the most difficult choices I've ever faced uh, in life was, was in 2008. Um, and um, 